Um, is this another situation where you're going to have to use when... Yeah. I guess when Guardian Leviosa opens it, whatever it is. Guardian Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, just hit the friggin' block. Now, here's something I don't understand. If we're outside in the castle courtyard, I guess, or whatever this is, how the hell is there a bottomless pit inside the castle walls? Wouldn't you, like, get that checked? Wouldn't Haggard, the groundskeeper, be like, eh, you know what, we should probably get that checked out, eh, old, uh, wizard, what's your face? Long beard? The guy who looks like Gandalf? Whatever. Alahamora. And that head is not going to be hittable again, so you can actually just jump through the painting. It's pretty awesome how you can do that. I always loved it. I can climb up. Um, and with a quick jump over here. Alley -oop. And one last jump. Pfft, stupid Harry. Alrighty then. And there's just a shitload of chests down here. I always like to hit all three of the chests and just let them all fall down. No reason. It just looked cool when it did that. And also down goes the wizard card as well. Interesting. Actually, no, the wizard card didn't go down. It just went over the cliff. Cool. And there we go. We get some fat guy with the ginger beard. And apparently he's number 10. So let's take a quick look at who this guy is. Burdock Moldock. Or Muldoon. 1429 to 1490. Chief of Wizard Council. 1448 to 14. What the hell does that even mean? Who cares? All right, then. Um, and let's just jump down. And it looks like there's nothing important here. I don't believe you can hit the water and, like, make a secret up here. It's just mainly to show there's a reflection to the ceiling and actually give you a hint that there's a secret. Even though it'd be pretty obvious if you just hit the Wingardium Leviosa block to walk up. So, who knows. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I don't really care that much. Because, again, the secrets don't really help you win the game. Only in uh, Chamber of Secrets do the secrets help you win the game. However, even then, they're not that important. And, perfect. And that actually did create the platform. Alahamora. Thank you for the beans. Um, I should quickly make that jump. There we go. And there's that uh, star that I was looking at earlier that I didn't know how to reach, I think. I'm correcting that, right? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, shit, I probably should have... Oh, well, looks like I have to wait now. Fantastic. Don't jump off now, Ross. The save book was back there. It's like 10 minutes of shit you have to redo. Except you have to go fast for it, because you don't want to make the people wait. Like this platform. This platform likes to make the people wait. Oy. Why do I put so much emphasis on my peas? I don't know why. Maybe it's New Jersey and accent. I always blame it on New Jersey and accent. What the hell does that even mean? You're not even from the main section of New Jersey, Ross. You're from the lesser known section in New Jersey. South Jersey. Especially South Jersey. And was that the end? Congratulations, Mr. Oh, awesome. You completed the challenge. Did I get all the challenge stars? You've collected all the challenge Kick stars. Kick ass. 20 points for Gryffindor. Now, off you go. Awesome. And he just walks off the table and shuts the door. Okay, then. I don't know where he's going, but apparently he has to go do some platforming, too. Um, there's actually something you could do right here. Wingardium Leviosa. And you can actually carry the block all the way from over there to this switch right here. And there's more SpongeBob going on in the background. Still the episode, ugh, which is still a funny episode. And boom. That'll open the bookcase. Open up the chest, and this will probably just give me beans. Thank you. Actually, you know what? No, I cannot open the wall. The game isn't usually mean like that and give you secrets that are that annoying. Oh, hey, a table. <laughs> I can be like the, uh, I can be like Flitwick. Woohoo! Well, I'm gone. Tut. Second floor landing. Attend the herbology class with Mrs. Sprout. The way to the greenhouse is out in the main entrance. Find three secret wizard cards, find three secret areas. Which means each secret area probably has a wizard card. So you actually spawn out in this area. I'm not sure what the hell we're doing here, but whatever. And there's actually a, quite a couple things we have to do before we can get there. Oh, hey, it's Hidwig, or whatever the hell his name is. Well, let's read what that says. 
Harry, don't be late for your herbology lesson. I'm waiting for you in the entrance to the greenhouse. See you there soon, Hermione. Got it. And that was a print screen error. Awesome. It flashed across the screen so fast you probably didn't notice it, but I did. Because I'm looking out for that shit. I noticed that happened a lot whenever I did the wizard dueling for Chamber of Secrets. It basically just means that the, some text was either missing or it made text appear because the game expected text. I don't even know how to say it. And I am too close to the window, so I'm going to actually have to back up. There we go. And climb through. And another chest. Probably just beans again. Oh, hey, a wizard card. And it got stuck inside the chest. That's fantastic. What the hell is that? Is he a fireman wizard? Who knows? Well, let's take a quick look as I walk from the air into the chest. Again, Harry Potter logic. Aldebert Waffling. 1899 to 18 to 1981. Famous magical theotician. Theoret you know what? I'm done pronouncing words right now. I'm not in a pronouncing mood, and neither is that chandelier apparently, because it is floating in midair. Fantastic. 2001 graphics, right? Oh hey, what the hell's up with that frog? Uh oh. Oh shit. Ow. And look, it's Peeves the motherfucking poltergeist. We actually have to battle this son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. This is one of our first official boss fights. Mm. You basically have to hit him when he's doing that. And he's going to throw shit at you. I think. I don't know why he's throwing at you. Stop aiming at the ground, mm. goddammit. He's a friggin' idiot. Ew. But then he flies away and he just goes through the wall like a little asshole. And there's that shit frog. Well, let's take him. Why not? Actually, I should probably break some stuff first. Can I even break that pot? No, I cannot. I like how random that fight just came up. It's just like all of a sudden we're fighting. Boom. And there you go. That's basically what happens. Um, let's grab that chocolate frog then because I could use some extra health. Why not? Gracias, Mr. Frog. Okay. Hello. Do you have 25 beans for us? Absolutely. We need the beans for some <clears throat> experiments. Sure, why not? Nice work, Harry. We found all the beans we needed for now. Here's a wizard card then. Hope you don't have this one yet. Uh, if I did, I'm pretty sure I'd punch you in the face. But uh, no. Oh, great, Thank this one. I love this Harry. one. No, you cannot follow them through whatever hellhole they come from. I don't even know how the hell they open the door like that. But who knows? You can't even win the, uh, or whatever the spell is. I love how more the gate open. It's just, it's just there. It's just a wall. Who knows? Anyway, that wizard card is... Urk the Oddball. Medieval dates unknown. Highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among many other things, for wearing a jellyfish for a hat. That same magic card is used yet again in, uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It's a silver card, I believe. Or maybe it's a brown card. A bronze, whatever. I don't know. Really? Another fucking message, Hedwig. Harry, if you're late for her body lesson, Gryff Gryffindor can lose house points. Hurry up. Good God, I was just attacked by a fucking ghost. Can you give me, like, some time? And that looks odd. It looks like a religious symbol. Which means it's openable. Woohoo! Alright, well, let's uh, open that chest. Alhamora! Awesome. Did that count as a secret? I don't even know. I really wish it was the Chamber of Secrets again, because they actually give you a warning if it is a secret. And can I open that? No, I cannot. It's just a, a guy who looks like... Uh... I'm not even sure. Maybe Shakespeare? I don't know. Oh, hey, what's up with you, Neville? Hello, Harry. I'm Neville Longbottom. Yeah, I know who you are. We met on the train. This is my remember-all. Yep. It tells you if there's something you've forgotten to do. Right. Oh, it's telling me we have Herbology class soon. That's actually pretty useful. Oh, I could use one I of those things. Forgot. Watch out for Draco Malfoy. I saw him sneaking around here just a moment ago. Son of a bitch. Alright then. Thanks for the beans. You better not steal Have them, you little slurring shit over I think there. I'm a bit scared of flying. Yeah, I've tried my broomstick. Well, actually, no, I haven't. And here's the wrapping part of the uh, SpongeBob episode. For once, it's actually kind of funny. The fact that they have rap and it actually is kind of funny. I don't know why. 
I just always found this part kind of silly. It's just a robot and a freaking caveman rap. Hey, Potter, do you like surprises? Malfoy's got a present for you. Oh, you does he? Watch your step around here, Potter. Slytherins don't like Gryffindors. And I don't rip with a shit to act like little badasses. You'll get your ass back here. I'll pretend you through the door. Yeah, that's why I ran away. All right, well, it's time to hit the witch now. <laughs> oh, that witch is so freaking stupid. That's pretty much going to be the theme of this episode. Just stupid sound effects going on. I'm going to be making fun of them with my own renditions. <laughs> oh, God, that is annoying. Stupid witches. I'm probably going to be the annoyance of everyone during this Let's Play. But then again, aren't I always? Open that face. And, oh, and look, hey, more of these guys. Uh-oh, there's a wizard. There's a safe book. That's not a good sign. That means that shit's about to go down. However, before I let shit go down, I'm actually going to go over here and check and see if there's any secrets I'm missing. Oh, hey, a painting or whatever it is. A window. Or a mirror. And I'm gonna be the first to find it. Too late. Nah, little shit. You lost. Oh, damn it. I can't make it up there, can I? So I actually have to jump over here. I think. Oh, no. That's what I have to do. I have to jump up here. I could have done it probably from the door, but this is smarter and easier. It's actually co pretty cool. If you play the Chamber of Secrets version, you'll see a lot of similarities, but also a lot of differences. So it's, it's very interesting. I have a feeling that there's shit in here that I'm not going to like, and you have to be very precise with these goddamn jumps. Oy, that's one of the things that's kind of annoying about this game. But we'll get to the really annoying parts later. Oh, just you wait. I have an annoying part lined up for you guys. Okay, maybe there isn't gnomes here. Maybe that's in Chamber of Secrets. Who knows? Or maybe he's going to come out of this chest. Who knows? Or not. Okay, then. Why the hell is it all blue beans? That's really... Oh, that's why. Because of the wizard card. That's interesting. If you look here, it is wizard card number eight. A guy who looks like he has purple face. In other words, he's probably the father of the girl from uh, Willy Wonka, who ate all those blueberries. Who knows? Derwent Shipling, 1912 to the present. Ate an entire venomous tentacula on a bat and survived, though it's still purple. Well, that is an interesting bet. Why the hell would you take that bet? Um, alright then. Well, let's go. Who are you? Frogs are really good when you're low on stamina. Oh, thanks for nothing, you little slithering shithead. Oh, I got him good. Your game will restart from this point. In fact, yeah, here's another thing from Harry Potter. These borders aren't here. There's like a whole second line of like shit to do up there. So it's actually pretty interesting. It looks like Hogwarts pretty much evolves. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it definitely evolves. Oh, and look who it is. Well, well, Potter, we meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? Yeah, pretty much. This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past me, no matter how hard you try. Why the hell do you have it against me? Oh, boo-hoo. Potter can't get out of the castle. Uh-huh. These wizard crackers should make you feel better. They're surprisingly good fun. Here, catch! So, now we actually have yet another boss fight. Pick up the wizard crack- oh shit. I don't know what the correct button is. Shit. Alright, please throw another wizard cracker so I make a figure- Ow! You bastard. Throw the goddamn cracker so I can throw it back at you. Rawr! Frog out! Frog out! Uh -huh. Frog out! Come on. Come on. Keep going. Ow, son of a bitch. Frog out! Uh -huh. Watch it! Frog out! Frag out! Frag out! Come on, cracker out! I'm gonna kick your ass! You better throw another one of those bastards! Ow! I gotta stop doing that! You can't catch him in midair! Get the fuck out of here! God damn it, Malfoy! Oh shit! Uh. Uh. Gotcha, you little shit! Uh -huh. Cut you, Potter! Next time you won't be so lucky! Who the hell says curse you anymore? What a fucking little dipshit! Get out of here! I'll kick your ass again, you little piece of crap. And it looks like these knights are not going to give me anything. What stingy little bastards. Alrighty then. 
Raven Claw was always my favorite uh, friggin' cast. I don't even know why. I just remember really liking Raven Claw for some odd reason. I think I would like Slytherin the most, considering green's my favorite color. But then again, what difference does it make? Slytherin's all just a shitload of assholes. Gryffindor's all just a big overlay of guys who don't shut the hell up. They're like, oh man, you gotta be good in all this crap. And Slytherin's just assholes. So you gotta find a happy middle. Hufflepuff is just those guys or like those awkward kids you look at and they don't do anything. But then Ravenclaw, they take initiative. I don't even know why. Attend the Herbology class, and is Hedwidge going to come and give me another friggin' letter again? I have a feeling that he is. I'm going to be pissed Hurry, if that happens. Over here. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, it's Fat Hagrid. Hello, Harry, it's me, Hagrid. Good to see you. These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. I like this voice a little bit better than Chamber of Secrets. I don't know if it's any different. Your friend Hermione's at the entrance to the greenhouse waiting for you. Yeah, 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 Drop Hagrid. Drop for tea later, after your lessons are done. And he does that little wave with, like, one hand. What a boss. I love Hagrid. Such a boss. And Hamora. Hey, look, Hagrid, look what I found. You better get to your herbology lesson. Cost your house points. Yeah, 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 I'm not gonna lose house points. There's only, like, one part in the game where I remember that you can actually lose house points. So don't worry, honestly. You will not lose house points if you're late, because honestly, I'm slow as shit when it comes to this game. And why do I get the feeling there's something behind these hedges, which are oddly in the way? Um, who knows? Like, maybe there's a way to Alahamorum, they go slide off, I don't even know. What's up, Hagrid? I'm busy not attending my class, so... You know how it is. And it appears that there is a Gryffindor kid over here. What are you doing? Off to your lesson, Potter. Off to your 